Hey guys, this is an important and informative video in the wake of screens getting damaged with the software updates. We have seen the pandemic of green line issue. So reports are coming in that the upcoming One UI 6 does not have that screen burn in protection which is very important for OLED screen so that there is no screen burning. So to really understand this first we need to know what screen burning is and what is screen burn in protection is. So let me quickly explain that there are certain things or elements on the screen that stay almost all the time like the battery percentage or the Wi-Fi, the network etc. These pixels almost stay static pretty much all the time. Yes, the navigation bar etc as well. So these pixels kind of get stuck and they just leave an imprint something like this. These are some of the examples you can see here. So this is what is called screen burning and this is an example of a TV leaving an imprint of some uh, channel name. There could also be things like discolorations, shades or dead pixels etc. So to address this issue there is something called screen burn in protection which is baked into the software. What it does is it shifts or rotates those pixels or move position slightly so that the pixels are not static at the same point. So from what I understand what you can do to find out if your phone has this screen burn in protection just take a screenshot and move your phone from portrait to landscape five times at least and go into the gallery and check the screenshot if it is perfectly aligned or not. In this case you can see it is not perfectly aligned which means the pixel shifting is happening therefore there is screen burn in protection and as per the report in One UI 6 this is not happening as you can see this is the screenshot taken in One UI 6 and it is perfectly aligned whereas in One UI 5 it doesn't which means again the pixel shifting or the elements are slightly moving. So it is true that generally people get excited with the new software update and eager to install. However, I would highly suggest you waiting for at least one revision as in 5.1 or 6.1 etc. Even if you have warranty or not so that you can save that trip to the service center and all that hassle. So that's been it for this video guys. If you found it helpful, definitely like this video. Also subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.